been happening. I just kind of wanted to share some of my own personal thoughts and beliefs and hopes. <laughs> big, big hopes. I personally really, really hope that this will drive people to think in a sustainable, self-sufficient living circumstances. So, for instance, right now everybody is freaking out because they're going to the grocery store and they're not finding what they need, like all the grocery stores are getting ransacked because everybody's stocking up and everybody is hiding away and making sure that they have enough food and people are being very greedy. People are not taking more than what they need and they're only thinking of themselves. And you know, in my opinion and my belief, with every this would just be another drive to want to provide for myself. Like and this is one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about building a garden and being able to provide for myself off the land without needing any help from the government because we cannot rely on the government. We cannot depend on anyone else but ourselves and I mean sometimes not even our community and that's really sad that's really shitty but that's just what it comes down to because at the end of the day like people are gonna look out for themselves like the majority of everyone is gonna look out for themselves before they put other people before them and so that's why I think that you know it's really important to start thinking in different perspectives and maybe thinking about changing the way that you live and going toward a more natural way of living that is in tune with the earth and that would be growing your own food in your backyard which I know that this is not ideal for everybody but it very much so is possible and it's a lot easier than you think like there's so many resources out there that allow you to do this and that's the beauty of the generation that we live in that there's the internet you can YouTube anything and learn how to do it literally anything and it and like me right now, like I don't know everything and I'm wanting to build a garden. And I have found videos, I have found books, and I'm also reaching out to people in my community because I know that there's people here that are growing gardens that I can learn from. And that's how passionate about I am. Like I don't, I will make the time and I'll make the, put in the effort. Even if I'm not getting paid, I don't care. Like. I want to learn and I want to be able to provide for myself so I don't have to worry like so I can really truly be free and that is another reason why I'm so passionate about learning about the medicinal herbs that surround us in nature like I could walk around here and if I knew how to properly identify all of them I know that I could find food for myself within I don't even know not even that far and especially in this entire area I could most definitely like thin like live off of the earth and be able to eat from the land and not have to go to the store and hope that they're gonna have the food that I can eat and that's why I believe that it's just so important that we build this relationship with the earth and that we get back to our roots in the sense that we connect to the land and we understand the land and we know the land and we thank the land we give the land thanks and gratitude for providing these offerings for us to live and thrive because they are here and they're very much so near you they're everywhere there's so many herbs like dandelion for instance grows everywhere every single where well the earth does that on purpose you know mostly what grows around us is what we need the most in our lives and dandelion is an amazing bitter it's very very good for your digestive system most of us have have digestive issues like that is a huge huge problem in our american culture and dandelion grows everywhere and it also is very high in calcium a lot of us are deficient in calcium and 
another for instance if we're talking about really high in nutrients um nettle nettle's another one um that is amazing amazing just jam-packed full um everybody's getting allergies right now everybody's getting allergies because there is new plants that are blooming flowers and pollen that is creating an allergic reaction and people are getting really stuffy runny noses like coughing sneezing and nettle grows wild well nettle is rich in quercetin quercetin is meant to help your allergies and also nettle is super super high in vitamins and minerals this is also very important at keeping your sickness at bay at keeping you healthy and full of life so those are just like two very very small examples they're everywhere <laughs> and it's like it's uh, I'm just full of like abundance and joy and love like so much love just sitting here outside in nature next to this rushing powerful huge waterfall like spending time in nature the fear will not consume you and we cannot let the fear consume us yes of course it is important to think in realistic terms and make sure that you're taken care of but there comes a point when you pass that and you're in fear and what does that do for you it doesn't do anything but cause more stress it's gonna activate your flight or fight response and you're gonna be stressed out which makes you more susceptible to sickness and just in the fresh air, spending time outside in nature, making sure that you're cleaning, you're drinking clean, fresh water, eating whole organic foods, drinking, drinking lots and lots of water too, of course, and just taking care of yourself, like making time for yourself and spending time out in nature and just really connecting because there's never, never, ever that I can think of in my lifetime that I've sat outside for a good period and I've left angry. That never happens to me and I, I would be very amazed if that happens to other people because I, I go outside and I sit in nature without any distractions and I'm just in awe like I'm immediately reminded why I'm here on this earth and I'm full of so much joy and abundance and gratitude that I'm here living and that I even have the opportunity to be here experiencing this life because it's truly a gift we are so blessed we are so blessed acknowledging that, giving yourself the space to allow that to come through and just being, just being, allowing yourself to be and flow with life. I invite you take a step away from the busyness of your life. I just came from working all day and on my way home I stopped to connect to nature. So I invite you to take time for yourself and take time to connect to Mother Earth. Whatever you need to help recenter yourself because if it wasn't important before and it always is it is now more than ever that we remember that we don't forget that we don't let the fear consume us that we remember of the love that we are and that is all around us always 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 here always it is never leaving us because it's inside it's inside and nature is just an outside reminder of what's already within 
Nature is a reflection of us. We are nature. The light and love in me recognizes the light and love within you. I love you. Beautiful day, beautiful friends.